We're going to work Kitchener stitch now. So we're going to cut our yarn. Grab a little scissors here. With a pretty long tail. Cut your yarn with a long tail. Because you're going to use this piece of yarn to weave in and out of your stitches to make that seamless toe. Now you're going to need a tapestry needle. So the first thing we're going to do with Kitchener Stitch, string your tail through your tapestry needle and then go into the first stitch on your front needle as if to purl. Then go into the first stitch on your back needle as if to knit. Okay, that is our setup round. So what I like to say to myself to remind myself is knit two, purl two. We're going to be working each stitch on each needle two times. So except for the setup round, which we just did. So now go into the first stitch on your front needle as if to knit and remove that stitch from the needle. Now you're going to go into the first stitch on your front needle as if to purl. So this is where we start our purl two. Here's the first purl and then you're going to go into the first stitch on your back needle as if to purl and remove that stitch. Every time you go into a stitch as if to purl on your back needle, you take it off the needle. Every time you go into a stitch as if to knit on your front needle, you're going to remove that stitch. So we just removed a stitch from the back needle. Let's go into the next stitch on the back needle as if to knit. This sometimes can happen. Don't let your yarn go over your needle. Just pull that off there. Now go into the first stitch on your front needle as if to knit and remove that stitch. Go into the front stitch, the first stitch on your front hand needle as if to purl. Don't let it tangle on your needles. And then go into the first stitch on your back hand needle as if to purl and remove that stitch. Go into the first stitch on your back needle as if to knit and into the first stitch on your front needle as if to knit, removing that stitch. So as you can see, this is starting to form the Kitchener stitch edge, which looks like no, there's no seam here. last stitch and we're just going to go in to it and then put your hand in your sock and tuck that end right in the corner there so we just pull it inside the sock and then you have a seamless toe 